You've picked the right video if you're planning to take the IELTS test and don't know where to start. IELTS basics for beginners are explained in this video. Let's get started. A good preparation for the IELTS examination is essential if you wish to be able to perform well on the test. You can find all the information you need about the test in this video so that you can be prepared for your test and know what to expect when you take it. It is important to know how the test is structured. By reviewing the content and question types for each section of the test, you will be able to get an idea of the format of the test. That is what you see in the rest of this video. Let's start to talk about the types of IELTS tests you can take. IELTS has two types, academic and general training. IELTS Academic it is available in a test center on paper or on a computer, as well as online from home or another private location with a stable internet connection. IELTS General You can only sit for this test on paper or with a computer at a test center. Now let me explain the difference between IELTS academic and general training. In both tests, you take the same listening and speaking tests, but different reading and writing tests. Take the correct test type into account when preparing. In both tests, the listening, reading, and writing sections are completed on the same day. But, Speaking tests may be scheduled up to one week before or after other tests. Speaking tests are usually conducted before your other tests if you have booked IELTS online. You might wonder how long the exam take. It takes 2 hours and 45 minutes to complete the test. Let me now tell you about each section of the exam. I will start with the listening section. In the listening section, you will listen to four recordings of native English speakers. Then, you will answer to series of questions. The first recording is about a social conversation between two people. Recording 2 is a monologue about an everyday social situation involving a local facility. Recording 3 is an educational or training conversation between four people. Say, a tutor and student talking. This recording is an academic monologue, like a university lecture. It is important to know what the examiner expects from your listening section. You must demonstrate that you can comprehend the main ideas and essential facts, as well as speakers' opinions and attitudes. Let's move on to the reading section. There are 40 questions in the reading section that test a wide range of reading skills. Gist, main ideas, details, skimming understanding logical arguments, and recognizing the opinions, attitudes, and purposes of writers are key components of the reading section. There are three long texts in the IELTS academic test, ranging from descriptive and factual to discursive and analytical. They are taken from books, journals, magazines, and newspapers. 
they're for non-specialists but are at the level understandable for people entering university courses or looking to get a job. As mentioned earlier, the reading is composed of 40 questions and must finish within 60 minutes. Let's now discuss the writing section, arguably one of the most challenging parts of the test. There are two tasks, in task 1, you will be given a graph, table, chart or diagram and asked to interpret, summarize or explain the information. The task may require you to explain data, describe the stages of a process, explain how something works, or describe an object or event. In task 2 you will be asked to write an essay based on a point of view, argument or issue. Both tasks must be answered in a formal manner. Writing should be finished within 60 minutes and comprised of two questions. Now it is time to discuss the speaking section of IELTS. The purpose of this section is to see how well you speak English. Every test is recorded. It is made up of three parts as follows. The first part is pretty straightforward. You'll be asked about yourself, your family, work, studies and interests during the test. This part lasts about four to five minutes. Part two is a little harder than part one. You'll get a card asking you to discuss a specific topic. There is one minute to prepare before you speak for up to two minutes. Examiners will ask a few questions on the same topic. In part three, you'll have the chance to elaborate on what you said in part two. There will be more questions about the topic in part two. You'll be able to discuss abstract ideas and issues. This part of the test lasts four to five minutes. Hope this info helps you kickstart your IELTS prep. We have made and will make videos for various IELTS levels from beginners to advanced levels. Subscribe to not miss any upcoming videos. Please leave a comment if you have any specific questions about IELTS. I'd appreciate it if you liked this video and shared it. Thank you for watching.